so far I'm really enjoying this. Most memorable set that you've had, like a set that you, you know, it's like, yeah, I dropped 60 tonight. Oh, <laughs> uh, let me think. Um, my most memorable, I would say, you know, I, I used to, when I f- was first like coming out or DJing, I used to DJ at um, Shantytown. Yeah. And it's a small bar. And it's cute, small bar. Shout out to Ian. Um, my friends, everybody used to come there. And I used to just, like, be able to just play whatever I wanted to. And all my friends really, like, most of them knew what I was playing. And they would go hard. And it was, I love that because it was, like, that was me seeing people coming to support me. Because right. that was, like, you are coming to see Luna, mm-hmm. you know? And, you know, Hop Tingers people, like, you're coming out. A lot of them are coming out to the bars and stuff. And, you know, some people come see me, but they're already, like, that's their spot. Yeah. But this was, like, okay, we're going to see Luna. And, like, I remember, like, a lot of people were coming. I saw, kept seeing people come in the door, and I was just so excited. And I got to play whatever, and it was just amazing. Like, many times, though, but, like, the most memorable one was, um, I can't, I don't know the day or anything, but <laughs> it was... Right before, um, when was it? It was earlier this year, earlier last year, because it's New Year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna be saying that's the next two <laughs> yeah, months. You're yeah, not, yeah, you're early not gonna realize yeah, yeah. what year it is last until like year. August. <laughs> um, like in the middle, and um, you know, like a lot of my friends came out, and we just had a great time. They were, you know, dancing their asses off, and it was great vibes. Hey, I'm gonna say this though. Don't underestimate the fact that a lot of us do go out because, like, you and Quan are spinning there. Oh, yeah, yeah. no. Like, we, I love Quan too. Shout out to Quan. I love me that's, and Quan grew up together. Oh, that's what's up. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. Because it was like, honestly, a lot of places in Jacksonville, unless you're really going to like some like hood spots, you're not going to hear black music. And that's because they don't really want us there. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, we'll be in a spot where they're playing, uh, I want to dance with somebody like four times in a loop. And it's like, yeah. like nah. So when we finally, you know, come to Riverside, I was like, oh, damn, Luna Spin, Quan Spin, oh, they're going to play our type of shit. Yeah. Yeah. So we in there, you know what I'm saying? And on some real shit, it, I done seen Ops in there. <laughs> <laughs> but we don't even care. <laughs> I done seen Ops see Ops in there. <laughs> you shouldn't have any Ops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, listen, That's my mom says the same ops. thing, you know what I'm saying? I'm but the nah. most unproblematic person, and I got Ops. Nah, so you like, listen, I don't know if I have any, but I hope not. Nah, nah. if you, you, you hang out long enough, you'll see why you'll, I got yeah. Ops. But see, um, the thing about it was, was funny about it. We'll be out, and because it's like, okay, like we know who the DJs are, right? Mm-hmm. I Keep ain't gonna cool. beat your ass in here, right? Because <laughs> I don't want them to oh, be yeah, like, I don't, I don't, because we don't, because we know what it is. Like mm-hmm. they low key are waiting, like they want that excuse. Like, okay, we're gonna let y'all come, but it's only a matter of time till you need to start fighting and shooting in here. Exactly, yeah. we're gonna get y'all out of here. That's why I try my best to like play different music there, so it's yeah. not all like I'm not one to play trap on it. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna do that. Um, I'm not carrying on to only males, <laughs> okay. I am a woman DJ, so I have to, like, not really have to, but I choose to, you know, be that woman DJ. I don't really like to say female, but that lady DJ. But, um, yeah, like, as soon as something happen, happens, like, I cut the music or I'll play something really happy because I do not tolerate it, and this is my job. I don't want to lose that because yeah. we finally have somewhere where we can go. Yeah. You know, yeah, and I, I need them yeah. to, I need y'all to go home after, though. <laughs> I love y'all. I love y'all so much. And it's not just black people. Okay. Everybody needs to go home after we're not chilling outside. We can chill outside, but don't be playing music. I'm jumping yeah, on we, top of cars. Yeah, oh, oh, my God. Yeah, you know, we okay. going to go crazy now outside. Now, we going to parking lot kill. Now, you know what I'm saying? Nah, we gonna, we can't, we can't you know, the let the out going to be the let out. Yeah, now, I got to roll yeah, the zombie. We Niggas got to catch this whole I get worried, though, because, like, We've People. had a couple things pop off in niggas the parking lot. Ca- niggas gotta catch his feet in the are, light. We real are right. Quick yeah, I go home right now. Facts, I was stuck yeah. in the dark. But at least okay, two o five. The sidewalk, the parking lot is a catwalk. Oh, two o five. Man, nah, you gotta give me like you, you gotta give me like two fifteen. Nah, we got that to about four o'clock. Listen, now, hold on, <laughs> come on, come on. Waffle House and eat and go to bed. This is what I'm saying. I listen. I'm gonna be out there just as long as smoke like smoke a blunt, bro. Like we got it rolled up. We are gonna roll up real quick. We gonna smoke. A uh, little birdies letting out across the street. You got Facts. girls twerking in the middle of the yes. yeah. We gotta catch Not that I don't love it. Not that I don't love it. Yo, yo, are yo, happy, but I just yo, wanted to say yo, yo. I just wanted to stay positive. Yo. And I don't want nobody, anyone to get hurt, okay? 
So. <laughs> Hey man, listen, dog. Listen, the, so, I, the parking lot is where it's at. After that set is over, we mobbing <laughs> for about another two hours. You know what? You be seeing people that was in the club the whole time. You didn't know it was in there because yeah, now you're in the light. Yeah, until you outside, right? <laughs> oh, well, so nigga, like, you was in the club. I'm trying to get you up, man. I ain't yeah. gonna move you. Yeah. You ain't no nigga, man. Nigga, I ain't seen you in years. That's yeah. sad. I wear glasses, Facts. so when I'm there up there DJing, you don't I, know who in I there. I don't know who's in there, which is great because um, I'm paying, I'm focused anyway. So. Okay, so um. What I want to, I would have asked you, like, how's the DJ community in Jacksonville? But you know, if you want to go there, <laughs> I mean, it's different. Like, we don't have a lot of lady DJs here. Um, you know, Giala moved to Atlanta, shout out to Giala. Yeah, she was holding um, it down, mm-hmm. she really was. And you know, she definitely support. she's been supporting me for years. I, I did my first show with her, I wasn't a DJ, I was a producer. I did my first show with the SP404, so it was really cool. And um, and what's the SP404? It's like a beat machine. Style. Like you can make beats with it. Oh, yeah, like cool. it's um, it's really cool. I sold it to uh, someone I probably shouldn't have, but it's okay. He's DJ too, but you know I might have an op. Let me say. <laughs> you, you, I know how that goes. You help somebody out. Yeah, you, yeah, 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 yeah. Then they turn they to the shit ops. On you. Yeah, yeah. You know I've been you know, criticize and stuff like that by him. But, it, you know, I wish him the best. Man, send him hitters, uh, y'all. Yeah, the fuck? for real. <laughs> man, the fuck? But, man. yeah, we ain't playing games out here. You know, I, do, I support, stuff, you know, I try my best to support other lady DJs and just DJs here, period. I, I go to the shows. I show up. You know what I mean? Um, and that people, the people who know me know that. Um, I've never been, like, a selfish person. Right. Um, but yeah, the community is like, it's, it's cool. You know, like a lot of males, like I, I just feel like people keep looking down on people that use controllers. Like a lot of turntablists, like the people that, you know, collect records and, you know, yes. And I'm going to get, like, I literally have a board that does that. Um, it's a rain. I just got it. I love it so much. It's very similar to turntables. It spins everything. Um, and eventually I'm going to be, cause I have records and vinyls and eventually I'm going to get, you know, the decks and show out so why you know do you it's think, just money why do you right think now djs or um more traditional djs have a problem with that is it because they don't think they look at you guys like, like, it's like an easy way, way. Yeah, they, look, they look at you guys as like guitar hero motherfuckers yeah like oh this is an easy you know thing like you're not really scratching Authentic stuff and i can scratch I, I usually baby scratch which is okay too and you know i've been teaching myself how to like scratch more and um and it takes time. And, of course, I'm going to get to the point where I can, you know, get get on there and do as many tricks as they, anybody else with, you know, turntables can that have been right. doing it for 50, 40, 20, I don't care, years. But um, 50 was a lot, damn. <laughs> but, <laughs> nah, but that ass. Yeah, it, is, it is motherfucking the DJ there, for yeah. 50 years. Yeah, yeah. that is true. So, um, but it is still hard work. And I literally work so hard. You know, I literally um, have taught myself so much and you learn a lot you there's still so much to learn you know like no matter how long you've been DJing right. you're still learning and it's not easy you know to controllers you have to practice really you know you have to have an ear like anybody can be a DJ but you and not everybody sends out as a DJ so that's, you know yeah you really have a, to like work a, hard and have a good ear that's a bar right there because yeah. <laughs> when she just said it you just it just made me think about how many times I've been somewhere I didn't know if they had like a DJ or they were just playing music. Bro, yeah, I can't tell you how many times I've been. I've been like, you know what? I can get and get up there and do a better set than this off yo, just, yes. off, just off the yo, pop, like just I, off the yo, Apple I Music. Hate, like, I, tell you, I tell you the truth, bro. The only thing that be inspiring me to DJ is uh, whack, DJs. whack DJs. Yeah. So I'm like, bro, if y'all getting paid to do this, bro, I'll I plug can, my phone up. Listen, I've probably real, gotten that before where somebody didn't, you know, didn't little, think I was I, good. I even, but I even have like a little DJ thing that I just play with like all the time when I'm bored. Like, oh, that's the, so cool. The DJ Pro thing. I have no idea how to do it. I don't know how to do it, but I'll fuck around with but it. Be like, shit. But for DJs, they, they be like, yo, me. that's why y'all need to leave us alone because y'all be pulling right. up. Right, you learn, you you realize, like, damn, if I was, like, in a club, that would be a lot of pressure because mm-hmm. it's like... And you doing this, doing that, motherfuckers yeah, going to dap you up, take pictures, yeah, niggas wanna, get behind the bar, yeah, get in your little space, get behind the DJ yeah. set, take a little cool. It's like, bro, if you don't get the hell away from me right <laughs> yeah. now, bro, like, I'm on the clock. I'm working. I felt that before, you know. Yeah. Get claustrophobic. And I know not everyone's going to like me, but I try my best to just, like... You know, be a cool DJ. You know, I don't, I don't force it. I'm, I literally, I'm authentic, and I'm, 
you know, I just hope that people like the music. If they don't, it's like, okay, you don't like Prince, that's on you. Who doesn't like Prince? That's what I'm saying. That's why I said that. <laughs> bro, I swear <laughs> to God, bro. Let me hear somebody saying like Prince. That's my, that's my baby right there. Top three producers you like want to work with as an artist. Oh, that's or easy for me. As an artist, uh, yeah. Obliv. Okay. Uh, he's a producer I love. Um, Pharrell. Oh, my God. Love that would be like a dream come true. I would cry. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to even like get get the the record done because you're in tears the whole <laughs> yeah, time like, I, I can't even I believe it. <laughs> um who else is a producer i will work with pharrell definitely though yeah definitely pharrell and um i love uh this producer named after one i also love the alchemist like i love a lot of underground stuff um and you know, I'm I'm actually dating someone who produces, and he's really good too. That's you know, Rick Herring. Shout out to him. I don't know him. Tall nigga. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Y'all know nigga, know nigga, man. Me, he actually that's crazy. Me and him shot like a, a, a episode. I did like a podcast or like a some type of sh- content show back in like 2017. Uh-huh. And uh, he shot the shit with me in my car, and he like kicked freestyle for me and shit. We were smoking. Really? Yeah, he dead ass. Freestyle? Ask about, yeah, he yeah yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay, because yeah. usually he's like. I don't really got to do freestyle, so I'm like, I'm, I'm surprised. No, nah, that nigga kicked cool. nah, some But he's bars. good. I need yeah, to yeah. find that shit, because literally he... He's definitely nigga. somebody, like, that's going to... I believe in him, so he's going to grow into nah. something. Somebody, He's already great, but he's going to definitely, like, be someone. And I, I ran into him at Rolling Loud, uh, like, 2018. Oh, it was crazy. It was a big-ass crowd. Like, we seen like, nigga, straight. <laughs> oh, man, stay up, bro. Yeah, that's oh, that's so cool. <laughs> he doesn't even... I don't think he knows that... Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that nigga tall as hell. You're that's here. Nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's my nigga. For, we met through um, uh, one of our mutual friends, Julian, the short dude with the camera. Oh, yeah, that's his best friend. Yeah, yeah, we met through him. And, like, me and Julian fell out. Like, me and him always was cool. Oh, so, that's like, so that's cool, what, yeah. That's, yeah. Sorry about that, but. No, don't be sorry. He's an op. <laughs> oh, no, don't say that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Julian, no, Julian. Julian's an op. Yeah, no, no, that nigga is crazy, bro. Yeah, yeah I am Please crazy. excuse him. <laughs> it's good. Um, Sorry, Jesus. So, what, um... What kind of inspires you as an artist to create music? What inspires me? Um, you know, being alive, number one. Right. <laughs> you know, um, and music in general, like different producers, artists, like, um, again, Eve Toomer, um, a, la- a lady producer that I love, Toki Monster, that she, like, that, and, and just, like, just being able to make people happy inspires me a lot. You know, doing what I love, you know, being able to say, thing, I'm doing what I love, that's my job. You know, it's really hard. Sometimes I'm like, you know, I get depressed sometimes. I'm like, oh, I don't feel a little inspired or motivated to do anything. And I force right. myself usually, you know. But um, I, I, I could say so many things like family, life, you know, love, you know, my, my people, the people in my circle. All that inspires me to be who I am. But music is my number one, like certain music, like 80s. 80s um, is definitely a part of my aesthetic. So. You like the synthesizers? Yes, like I do. Yeah. Yes, I love the 80s. I love the electric guitar. That's like, I always call myself a chandelier and electric guitar. Like, that's my... Those are two, those are two <laughs> objects. To be yeah, like, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like grungy and bougie here and there. But. And say like, you know, okay, so you're an artist, you know what I'm saying, DJ, you're doing your thing, and... Say you're like blown up, right? Like you're getting big. Would you rather stay the independent route, or would you rather be signed to a major? Oh, I always say I want to stay independent, independent because you know I don't want to get like into commercial stuff. Right. You know what I mean? But it depends on who I'm working with. So I would say I don't know until I get there. <laughs> nah, I feel you on that. You yeah. know, I think about that a lot too. Sometimes, like, would you rather be like? like a company or really be like independent and i think working on music again too so yeah and i think independent we all would want to be independent but in a way sometimes like give me the bag and give me the spotlight and i'll finagle what i need to out of that but you know because you know they got 360 deals and sometimes they are shitty deals you only get like Mm -hmm. percentage and you know, they may say, oh, yeah, you got a $3 million deal, but then you got to give 20% to the manager, then you got to give 50% taxes. 
you got to give a certain percentage to the label or the fuck, you know, signed you. And then whatever you're getting, you might not even touch, like, 800000 mm-hmm. like, okay, We just signed $3 million. Listen, deal. But I feel like the music I create is, like, very different. Yeah. So I don't know. But we'll see. I, I, will, I am working on something. Um, and I when I drop, that's it. You know, okay. let me ask you a tougher I, question. I I oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Hey, she, we need one of Clue's bombs to drop after that one. Oh, that let was, me make sure. Is, that is, was, is this uh, the bomb or the shot? That's oh, a no. good <laughs> There you go. There you go. Yeah, I just want to make sure. You know we, what I'm saying? We're we going need one, one more clues, time. Yeah, we need one of Clue's bombs to oh, drop yeah. on that one. That was that was a little a little gem right there. She just <laughs> dropped on you. Know. 